Today I would like us to look at stock reconciliation in ERP Next. And I would like us to start by asking ourselves, what is stock reconciliation? And this is ideally the process that uh, you do to ensure that the stock that you have physically is equal to the stock that is showing in your inventory system, in our case today, ERP Next. And this uh, process is very critical because it ensures uh, that you have avoided uh, disadvantages like un unforeseen outages of, uh, of stock uh, because sometimes the inventory system could be showing that you have stock whereas in the physical warehouse uh, or in the reality physically you don't have those things so how do we do this in ERP next for the first thing I'm going to do is to go to stock balance report because I would like to show you something. So if I refresh here, we can see that in the stores warehouse, we have one plus 20, we have around 450 of them. And uh, the balance, this is the balance in terms of value, is 38,700, uh, 38 38.7 million rather, 38.7 million. So how do we do stock reconciliation then? Let me open another tab so that I retain our, our report here. And then I'm going to go into stock reconciliation. And when you're here, you just need to create a new one. Then, uh, of course, here you need to select a company if you're not, uh, if you have multiple companies. And then the purpose, this is important. You need to select stock reconciliation. Opening stock is a different thing. Opening stock is when you are uh, 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 maybe probably migrating into ERP next for your first time. That is when you use stock uh, opening stock. But today we are going to use stock reconciliation because we want to adjust the stocks that we have in our system. The other thing that is important here is down here. We can do uh, default. Yeah, well, we don't need default warehouse. This is where we need it. Now, this field that you are seeing here that says uh, scan barcode. If you have a barcode scanner and you put it here and you scan, ideally what is going to happen is that it is going to put those items here so that you can easily reconcile them yeah so every time you put a, a barcode here <coughs> it puts an item here and i'm going to be showing you that soon because i am working on a barcode scanner app and i'm hopeful that actually i'm going to be releasing it later today or tomorrow uh, so look out for that then here we need to select the items so we can put as many items here as possible but today we are just doing a demo with just one okay so we put our one plus 20 this is the one plus 20 which we have a balance of 450 somewhere here yeah and then the next thing when we do that uh, we are going to notice that uh, let me select the stores warehouse the moment you select stock wa stores warehouse you are going to notice that the system is going to fetch two things one is the quantity that you have currently according to the system so this is what it is showing and then the valuation rate here is going to show you as 86,000. So when you are doing stock reconciliation, you can even change the valuation rate. But you'll find that most of the time, the things that we are doing reconciliation for are the quantities. Yeah. But what this tells you is that in the event that you have adjusted your, the valuation of your items, you can also change all of them using stock reconciliation. You can do that here. Sorry, let me close that. So let's say, for example, we have done a physical count of our 1 plus 10 T's and we have found it's no longer 450, it's rather 420. So 30 of them are lost somewhere. This one thing I would like you to remember. So we expect this one to be 420 and then this figure is going to change from 38.7 million to something else. So let's go ahead and do, uh, let me open this so that I can also show you some other things in here. If you have serial numbers for your items, you can just paste them here, all of them. And that is, I think is the most important thing. And there is also this difference, uh, quote the difference field that is showing here. And also the difference amount that is showing there. Those are automatically fetched depending on what you put here. So for example, if I change this, you see this one is seeing a difference of 30 and a quantity difference, amount difference of two po uh, around 2.58. So if I change this to, let's say 470, those things, things are now going to be positive. You see this is positive 20 because the system currently has 450 and this is a difference of 1.7. So the, the system automatically tracks for you uh, the difference. But let's go get it back to 420. 
so that we have uh, 30 of them lost somewhere in the process. And then I save and then I submit. And that is it. That's how we do stock reconciliation. Before I show you uh, one report here that I want to show you, let's go back here. This was 450. And remember, this was 38.7. So if I rebuild this, this now changes to 420. And this changes to 36.12. Yeah. You see, that is how this has been adjusted. And when we come back here, when we do a print, and remember, this print looks the way it is currently because we have not customized you can change this report to wherever you like it to look like so the uh here currently the quantity we have here is the current quantity and this is the the quantity that was there before yeah and then here we also see that we have a quantity difference so we can also print this as a, uh, in the printout and we also have the amount difference this is negative two point Five, eight. that's a lot of money uh, that we have lost there so that's how we do stock reconciliation if you have any question or something you'd like me to cover about reconciliation please feel free to drop those comments in the in the comment section below and i'll be happy to take care of those thank you so much and i hope to see you in my next one